In this quick tip, we're going to take a look at how we can add totals and subtotals to your text tables in Tableau. I will show you two ways to do this, as well as some not so obvious things we can do with totals. Let's dive in. So let's first take a look at our example text table. I've created this using the SuperSort dataset, so you should be able to recreate this. What we have on our screen right now is a text table and we can see in our rows, we have three different pills. You have segment, category, and subcategory. The rightmost pill determines the detail of your text table. Any of the dimensions to the left creates some kind of group or subgroup. So we do have a group for category, and we also have another grouping specific to segments. So we can kind of see it right here. So let's explore the first way to add your totals and your subtotals, and that's by using the sidebar. In your sidebar, you have two tabs. You have the data tab and the analytics tab. If we click on the analytics tab, we're going to find that there is a summarized section. And in the summarized section, we're going to see totals. If for any reason this is disabled or grayed out for you, it means that your chart doesn't have anything that can be totaled or subtotaled. One way to use totals is to simply double click. When you double click this, it's going to go to your view and it's going to find every combination of totals and subtotals and add it all at once. So in here, it's going to add some row grand totals, some column grand totals at the very bottom of your screen and every possible subtotals. The behavior of totals is different when you double click or when you simply drag it over to your view. When you drag it over to your view, let's take a look. It's going to ask you specifically if you want to add subtotals, column grand totals, or row grand totals. When you drag it over, you get to pick and choose exactly what totals you want to add. So for example, if we want row grand totals, it's only going to add that level of total. So let's undo this and let's take a look at the behavior of the double click. So double click. And in here, what we see is that it has added a row grand total, which by default appears to the rightmost of your screen. If we scroll down, we're also going to see a column grand total, which appears at the very bottom of your screen by default. And in here, it will also have found some subtotals. So there is a subtotal specific to our category. There's also another subtotal specific to our segment. We can adjust this though. If, for example, you don't want the row grand totals to appear on the rightmost side of your screen, then we can switch this to the left. We can right click on the header and from here, we should be able to see row totals to left. So right click, row totals to left. Same thing for your column grand totals. If you want this at the top, same thing. We can right click on the header and then column totals to top. If we want to remove any of the totals, we can simply left click on the header and there's going to be an option here to remove. So in here, we can simply remove. Let's try this out, remove. Let's scroll up. If we wanna remove any of the grand totals, same thing, left click on the header and then remove. Left click on the header and then remove. Let's undo some of these steps first and I'm going to show you a different way to remove or add subtotals. So let's undo this. So let's say we want to keep the total specific to category, but we don't want these totals specific to segment. We can also remove this by clicking on the segment pill. So in here, when we go to the segment pill, we're going to see an option to uncheck subtotals. So that's another way of removing it. So let's try this out. So now it removes the total for segment. If for example, what we want is the reverse, we don't want the subtotals per category, but we want the subtotals per segment. Again, we can still go to the pill and then check and uncheck our subtotals. So in here, we can bring back segment subtotals and then under category, we're going to uncheck subtotals. So what's another way of adding the totals and subtotals? Let's remove all of these totals first. Again, in here, clicking on the header and then removing them. Another way to add or remove the totals and the subtotals is by going through the analysis menu. So in the analysis menu at the very top, it's between story and map. In here, you can see totals and we can see the same options. We can add row grand totals. We can add column grand totals as well as our subtotals. 
So let's try this out. So under analysis, totals, show row grand totals. Again, by default, it's going to be on the right side. Analysis, totals, show column grand totals. By default, it's going to be at the bottom of your screen. And under analysis, totals, we're going to add all subtotals. Now here is the not so obvious thing we could do with totals and subtotals in Tableau. So let's scroll up first. So what do we see here? For example, how did we get this $87,000? Well, this is going to be the sum or the addition of all of these four numbers under the category furniture. How did Tableau know how to do that? Well, by default, the measure is sum, therefore the total is going to be using the same aggregation. It's also going to use a sum. However, in Tableau, we can change the aggregation specific to the totals only. So let's click on this measure pill. And from here, we can see an option called total using. By default, this is automatic, which means it will follow the aggregation of the measure. But we have a choice. It doesn't have to follow. For example, we can select one of these other aggregations. So just for the total, it could be an average. Just for the total, it could be a minimum or a maximum. So let's give it a try. So on the pill, total using. And for this, I'm going to use maximum. So what just happened? So for furniture, the total that is currently showing up is 45,000. Why is that? When we selected total using, we chose maximum. And if we take a look at this group, you have 10,000, 45,000, 8,000, and 24,000. The maximum of these sums, the maximum of this group is 45,000. So again, Tableau offers a lot of flexibility in terms of creating the totals and subtotals. However, in this case, I would definitely suggest that we change the label because it's no longer a total. Typically, when we see text tables, we naturally assume that we're going to add up all of those numbers. But if that's not the case, let's change our label so it's very clear that this is the maximum of the group and it's not going to be the total or the sum. And to do that, we can simply right click on this total label. So right click, select format, and from here, we can replace the label so it's more descriptive. It tells us exactly what that aggregation is. So in this case, maybe we're just going to say this is maximum in group or subgroup. Okay, and press enter. Now we can see that that has been changed. And that's it for this quick tip. In the next total tip, I'm going to show you how to calculate them using table calculations as well as level of detail expressions. Thank you again so much for your time, and I'll see you again next time.